Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 2nd of 2021, well, it is titled A Light and Dusty Night. So what do we see here? Well, here's an image of the nighttime sky taken from southern Brazil. And we can see a number of different things here. The brightest object that you see off to the lower right is actually the planet Venus. Venus being the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon and is a very dominant sight in the evening sky um, at right now. So it's something you can easily see in the evening after sunset for the rest of this year, you'll be able to see Venus very prominent there. Now Venus is immersed in what we see as the zodiacal light stretching up from the horizon there and up towards our Milky Way galaxy. The zodiacal light follows the constellations of the zodiac and is associated with dust in our solar system. So it is not an atmospheric effect and it is not a planetary effect. It is actually sunlight being reflected off small dust particles in our solar system. So the light travels out into our solar system, gets reflected off these dust particles scattered around the solar system and causes a bright glow that is often visible, especially near the equinoxes. So if you look after sunset at the spring equinox or before sunrise near, an, near the autumn equinox, you're able to to see this much better. And here we can see that's when it gets a very steep angle. So it goes almost straight up and is a distinct glow in the sky that you can see from a relatively dark sight. Now, of course, we also see our Milky Way galaxy there stretching across the sky. And the Milky Way is our galaxy as we see it from within. And we get to see those dark dust clouds where denser material, denser clumps of material block out the light from behind it. And we can also see some of the bright star clouds also associated with our galaxy. Galaxies like our own that are spiral galaxies have a lot of dust and gas because they are in the process of forming stars. Now that is not specifically all galaxies. Some types of galaxies are not currently forming stars and have far less gas and dust. And this would be a much brighter area to look at in a galaxy like that. And in fact, the center of our central portions of our galaxy would be among the brightest portion that we see if you were able to not be able to see through the dust. That would be one of the brightest spots in the sky because there would be so much material there. So in this case, we're seeing not so much material, not because there is even more material and dust that blocks out the center of our galaxy. And in fact, the center of our galaxy was first detected in the 1930s when Carl Jansky was studying with with radio waves and detected a radio source from the sky. And even with the basic antennae that he started out with was able to detect the center of our galaxy with it being such a, a large a uh, large radio source and in fact uh, the strong one of the strongest if not the strongest radio source that we see in the sky so here we get to see a number of things we get to see venus the zodiacal light stretching up and the band of our milky way galaxy stretching across the sky so that was our picture of the day for october 2nd of 2021 it was titled a light and dusty night We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be holographic tea time. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.